Hey guys, it's me, Katie, and today I'm going to show you how to make thumbnails like I do because a lot of people have been asking. Um, this is obviously not my account. Mine lags too much, so I'm just going to use uh, my boyfriend, so not a big deal. Um, yeah, so what you need to do first is go to Movie Town and go to Art Books. Now, for this, you don't have to make an art book, don't even save it. You just need uh, to take a picture of it, basically. So, what you need to do is get your person or whatever you want in the thumbnail, so I'll just like use both of us, and then find a pose for it. Um, I would choose a non-moving pose, because if it moves, you're not going to be able to get a good picture of it, and it is a free, like a freeze picture, so you won't be able to have it moving. So I'll pause this, come back once I have um, the animation and everything, and then we'll move on. Alright, so say I wanted this for a thumbnail, because it was like something for him or whatever. What you need to do now is go down to the MSP shapes that they gave us, and pick a color that you did not use. Because we're going to make this transparent, so you can put it on something else and they'll have a white space. So I typically use green, because since I hate green, I hardly ever use it. And none of our eyes are green, so like don't use blue if your eyes are blue, because it will take out your eyes, and you will look weird. Um, put it behind you, make sure it covers just you, because we're just going to take a, a screenshot of it, or just a little piece of it like I do. This is on another video that failed, don't mind that. Okay, so we'll just take a picture of us, like that, and then you just save as whatever. Go down. So now that it's saved, just go to lunapic.com. This is how I get my pictures transparent. The only one I found that was actually very good. You have to find the picture. Um, okay, this one. And then uploading. Then you go to edit, transparent. And it tells you to click on the color you want transparent. This is that color thing I was mentioning. So click on the green. And it will take out all the green in the picture. If there's a little left, like by your feet, just bring the bar up and eventually it will go away like that. One more. Okay, that's good. And then you apply. And then we just click save to make sure it saves and it will download. Now, next you need to go find um, a background for it or whatever, so I would just choose, like, backgrounds or whatever. Uh, pick something that would, like, match your image, I guess. I don't know. I've already done this once, but I'll just, like, choose this one because this one's kind of cool. So give me one sec, so I can go down. Okay, now that we have our picture and our transparent photo, we need to go to pickmonkey.com, find the photo that you just downloaded, um, okay, whatever, now I can't find it. Okay, we're just gonna use my old one. So I did this one when I made an edit for him before. Uh, you know, adjust it if you want, resize it. I like it darker than that. So, wait, no, like it like that. No, undo. No, auto adjust. I can't even decide. Then, I need to widen my screen. Alright, so we're on pickmonkey.com. I'm gonna leave these links in the description, so no worries. Click on the little butterfly, which is overlays. Now, they have their own, which are just, like, simple ones, but you can use your own from your computer, and what this does, it, it allows you to get the uh, transparent photo that we did before. So, as you can see, it's super tiny, but you can make it bigger, so no worries. Um, doing the transparent things a lot faster, because otherwise on here, you can use an eraser and erase the white, but I used to do that, and it would take me two hours to make a thumbnail. It still takes me like 30 minutes or whatever. So you need to find a background and everything that will work out. So we'll just put it in the middle. Because this isn't going to be a thumbnail. But if it's a thumbnail, you know, put it off to the side or whatever. And they're still green because I think I probably should have gone more. Whatever, it's fine. This is not real. Okay, then you go to text. Um, I download my own text from, what's it called? Um, from devfont.com or something. I'm going to go look and put it in the description, like I said. But it allows you to just give really nice fonts because the ones they have on here are not very good. So I will go pick out a customized font that I have because I have like a million. Okay, so these are all mine. Um, okay, uh, we'll just do like uh, this one. This one's gray. And then you just click add text. Well, let the show up. 
Did I click it? Okay. Did I? I know I did. Okay. And then just type whatever you want in here. That's not even how you spell whatever. Blah. Katie can't type. That's not even my thought. <laughs> when Katie fails, AF, it happens. Okay, let's try this again. So you click add text. You got a good little text box in there. Okay, so here's our whatever that is spelled wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then you need to, of course, have it a color that you can see. So since we're wearing yellow, I would make it yellow. And then you can make it bigger. Because if it's a thumbnail, you're going to want it really big so people can see it. So I like to make mine just big enough to where it's almost over. Like right about there. And then you can put more stuff at the bottom. And then once you're done, you just save it. And then you can just customize it when you upload a video, which I will show you right now. Alright, so let's say I was going to upload a new mail time. Well, I don't customize those, but like a wishes giveaway or whatever. I would make something for that. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is definitely giving out. I am very sick. <clears throat> what does do my theme look? So I'm really going to upload. Um, and then once this video thumbnails things upload stuff for this, you have to be of a certain amount of subscribers, I think, because they'll tell you when you can customize them. And then just find the one you made. I didn't even save it because I wasn't planning on it. You click on it like this, open it, and it will be your thumbnail when your video loads. It's as simple as that. It's way faster than trying to do something else. This is only a few steps, and it's the one I used to make all of mine. And like I said, you can use uh, pictures from the internet. So like this looks more realistic with my theme look ones or just whatever you want. And it just makes it look a lot more um, appealing to the eye than just this thing. Because, I don't know, I just think it makes it look better. So that's how I do it. And you could definitely tell where I started doing it at. Like this one was good. And then the rest, I was just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, that's how you do it. I um, love you guys so much. Hope that this helps you. And have fun making channel art because it's super fun and I love making this kind of stuff. Bye.